it's mind blowing that people are that smart out there and that we've became that technologically advanced that we're able to do stuff like mm-hmm. that. If you could fly anywhere in the universe, where would you fly to? Oh my gosh, what a great question. Um, so many places. So the first thing I thought of, so at the, there, there's a couple different ways you could define the edge of the solar system. And one of the ideas is something called the Oort cloud. And it's basically like a big sphere uh, uh, made out of chunks of ice and stuff. And that's where comets come from. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of like a bubble. And that's, that's kind of the limit where the sun's gravity holds. So that's like one of the ways you could define the edge of the solar system. But we've never been there. So it's, it's also just kind of not just a theory. I don't like saying that phrase, but it's yeah. it's theoretical that the ore cloud is really there. So I would love to see, is it actually there oh. or not? Is that really there? Um, we'll have to find a documentary about that later on. Yeah, it sounds interesting. It's, it is. It's, it's super cool um, because the, the farthest spacecraft we've ever sent hasn't even gone to the next star yet, you know, but it hasn't, it's not going to reach the ore cloud for a couple thousand more years, and it's not going to even leave the Oort cloud for 30,000 more years. And that's the spacecraft we launched in 1977, the Voyager 1 yeah. <laughs> spacecraft. It, so. It's so crazy <laughs> that that is still going, I, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and that, I mean, talking about uh, going past expectations, mm-hmm. that has really surpassed mm-hmm. expectations. Have they launched another one since then? Well, there's Voyager 2, which is kind of going in a, a different direction. Um, that one launched. Well, I guess I think that actually launched before Voyager one. They launched around the same time. Um, but, but I mean, like, if you would think like they got the technology that good and yeah. that precise back in the seventies, mm-hmm. I just wonder why they haven't done another one today that maybe could do better than that. Or I guess the mindset is maybe if it's not broke, don't fix it. I don't know. Well, and there's also a lot to explore just in our solar system too. So there's if those two are working, yeah. Let them, let's keep, keep them going. Let's see what we can get from them. Um, but while that's happening, now we can, I mean, it takes nine years to get to Pluto to send that, the New Horizons spacecraft to Pluto. It took yeah. nine years. We're only just now getting something to the sun. We've only just, in the past year or so, perfected a spacecraft that can get close enough to touch the sun. And that's the Parker Solar Probe. I love it's one of my favorite missions. It's getting closer than anything has ever gotten. It's actually going to touch the sun. It's going to be in the layers of the the outer layers without melting. And yeah. that's that's there now. I think it just did its eighth pass by. It's getting closer and closer each time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get these really amazing up close views that we've never gotten before because the sun is so hot. How do they make it to where it won't melt? It's a specific shield just heat shield and they had to find the right materials so the outer shield won't melt and then the heat it can kind of block enough of the sun's heat that the instruments won't melt so it's kind of like you know speaking of tony stark it's 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 like a stark kind of shield so yeah wow yep yeah that's see i mean like i I just like i've been into black holes here the the last few weeks i haven't really got a chance to look at everything and that's what i was saying earlier like i mean I can't focus on everything whenever it comes to space because it's just so hard so much. to understand. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot that's been happening with black holes recently too, and and there's you know the you got the first photograph that was a couple years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The the very first indirect still because you can't get a direct photograph of them, but that was amazing, and that just happened. Yeah. yeah, just a couple years ago we got that first photograph, and then very recently they were talking about the first detection of light from behind a black hole so that's been recently happening which is really cool <laughs> yeah. see I, I, I that that was really cool to me but also it just it kind of broke my heart because i'm like oh i thought it was like a wormhole i thought like you could go to a different dimension but but even then i mean it's, it's still a guessing game to really like what sure. happens if you do go into it yep we we will never know until we can send something faster than light yeah which we'll is, never know. yeah, it's impossible <laughs> right now. 